Hello, Peter. Hey, first of all, I do really appreciate you giving the service a try. Uh, thank you so much for that. And if it doesn't work for you, if what I'm showing you here doesn't help you at all, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I just want to help traders. That's my goal. So if I can be of any help um, or if there's anything you need that I don't provide that I can send you somewhere else, I'm more than happy to do that. All that said, I do want to show you something here very quick because you said you're familiar with iron condors. So I mapped out here an iron condor in SPX, uh, which happens to be my main trading vehicle, but it really doesn't matter what you're trading. And as you can see, uh, if our current market here is at 3850, so I sold a 3900 call, bought a 3950 call, so that gives me this side of the condor. And then I sold a 3800, bought a 3750, which of course gives me this side of the condor. I think you're all familiar with that. So, and you said you're comfortable with that with the exception of the potential large drawdowns that these can have. And one of the reasons that happens, you can see this, what we call the T0 line and how that can get pretty severe uh, at different times. So all a butterfly is, to simplify this as much as I possibly can, all a butterfly is, it's a condor, but these two short strikes are at the same location. So I'm gonna move, we're still gonna do 50 points wide. So I'm gonna move this in so that we're just 50 points wide. And I'm gonna make these, uh, these center strikes both at the same location of 3850. And there is our butterfly. Now, a couple things you should notice instantly, a lot less risk in this butterfly. Depending on your entry price, you're going to have maybe, um, you know, between $200 and $400 of risk total in this butterfly. Look how flat the T0 line is. So the market can move a long ways up and a long ways down before this thing starts to feel significant stress. So this is the value of, of trading butterflies. The fact that they are uh, compared to a condor, they're a much uh, lower risk trade just because of this exact situation. You can get into them for much cheaper. You see, we have a max gain of 4,500. Now we are not shooting for $4,500. Let me be totally clear on that. We're looking for you know, a week or two of decay and then we'll pop this thing off when it gets up to about I don't know, you know, 10% somewhere along those lines, maybe 20%. But again, so this is what the butterfly looks like. Now I'm going to take it back out to the condor and we'll widen this back out to where it was. But you see right now we've got, call it $400 in risk and $4,500 in potential gain. And we move these back out. And we have less potential gain. Of course, we can get that in a little wider zone here. We have less potential gain, but we've got a lot more risk on and our T0 line is a lot more curved. So that's a butterfly. It, it is literally that simple. Uh, the only slight variation that I tend to do, and I explain why I do this in the class, is that I tend to do a butterfly with all puts. It's, it's the exact same trade, but I tend to do them this way. And there's a, a very specific reason for that. And that reason is that puts tend to have a much tighter um, uh, bid ask spreads on them normally. So there's less slippage doing it this way. Now you could do it either way you wanna do it. Um, and again, the trades will largely play out the same, except for possibly a little bit of execution cost. Now we can see right now this butterfly isn't centered. I guess I should have put this in order to center it up like the other one was. We should do it just like this. But again, it's the exact same thing as a condor or as an iron butterfly. The only thing we've done is our center strikes are at the same point. And again, lower risk trade, much wider range that this can play in. Markets can move up or down, you know, 100 points in a day like they did today. Um, you know, today I had on quite a few trades uh, and the market's down 77 S&P points and my account isn't impacted at all. Actually, it's gained a little bit of value 
uh, in that process. And I'm largely just trading revenue neutral. I'm trading flat here. All I'm looking for is that decay to happen in the T0 line. So uh, again, I'll just finalize this by saying, if this still isn't for you, perfect, no problem. Thank you so much uh, for giving it a try. If it is something that you want to explore further, I don't think the butterfly class is going to be beyond you at all if you've been trading condors. But I did want to share this specific reason why I lean toward butterflies instead of condors. Hopefully it helps.